This is my new best friend. The remote for the 27QHD Touch. It's absolutely amazing. The amount of buttons on it, um, yeah, the amount of buttons on it, the amount of programmability it has. I was a bit concerned when I first saw it that I wasn't, that I just wouldn't like it. You know, they'd taken away the hotkeys that I knew and loved for years and years and years and years and years. And they put it on this funny little remote. When I first saw the pictures, I'm not about when I first unboxed it. I'm on about when I first saw the pictures, when they first released images of what the 27QHD was going to look like. When I first saw the pictures, I was like, what? Really? This thing is quite big. You know, it's quite chunky. It's, you know, it looks big. Maybe it was just the pictures. It's not, you know, it's not that big. It's... It's about the weight of my iPhone, it's probably not as wide and a bit taller. A lot of people give a lot of hassle to other tablet manufacturers because their tablet pens aren't batteryless or they have to be recharged. You know, Wacom's pens are pretty unique in the fact that they don't need powering in any way you know and it's it's part of Wacom's technology and that's one of the reasons why people love Wacom tablets so much and then Wacom goes and introduces a device boo that needs charging oh I wasn't sure about this at all um yeah I thought that was a major you know are you absolutely sure moment because I just thought, well, haters are going to hate this, but there's four USB ports on the 27QHD Touch, and to be honest, the USB cord goes from there and into the port, and you can still use it the entire time while it's charging. So you're not losing any time. You can just, if you, if you want, you could just leave it plugged in to the USB port all the time. So in that respect, works great. In future, what I would like to see is I'd like to see Wacom actually make this wireless charging like you get on the new phones nowadays. I was going to do some cool flip catch trick then, but we all know how that would go. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, um, but uh, but yeah, it barely needs charging. It uses virtually no battery whatsoever, and it turns itself off if you're not using it. So the absolutely great thing about this, though, is the sheer amount of things you can program into it. I use a fair amount of shortcuts. I like to do a lot of stuff by hand. I'm fairly old school. I will admit that. But I do use a lot of shortcuts, especially for the different programs that I use, you know. And I've got to say, I ran out of good things to program into this in the end. And I ended up just programming nonsense into it. <laughs> you know, um, things that didn't really need at the end of the day. Things that I didn't used to have on my old Cintiq. So... I've got to say hats off to them for engineering this and for being brave enough to go with this because if there had been two models one would have had this and one would have had the standard hotkeys I would have probably just gone standard hotkeys but having tried this I have to say this is actually far superior so Shame on me for for not for not believing in this sooner. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to comment, like and even subscribe to my channel, Lawrence Can Draw.